Imagine that you're testing an application within Laravel. So you create your test class, you have an extend test case, but then the class that you're unit testing doesn't leverage Laravel specifically, it's just some part of your domain. Maybe it's some kind of billing class or an image manipulation class. So you could say new thumbnail, how about that? Maybe we have some class for generating thumbnails for you. So you say new thumbnail, and then you can give it a path to an image. So something like images slash foo.jpg, and then let me fix this thumbnail. And then maybe you could call thumbnail slash generate, and that's going to create the necessary thumbnail and save it to a predefined folder that you've configured. All right, so a basic class here, but think about it. That doesn't use Laravel in any way at all. It's just a normal class that you're unit testing. That's great. However, you're extending test case. So why is that an issue? Well, let me show you. First, I'm gonna create this class so we don't get any bugs thumbnail like that and then I'll create a method called generate and just leave it like that maybe we will return generating to simulate that now if I run PHP unit we're gonna get green because we didn't really write an assertion but we also know that nothing went wrong so this is good but once again we are extending test case so we're basically booting up Laravel just so that we can test a single class. You're gonna get a performance hit on that when you don't need it. There's no reason to extend Laravel to test a custom thumbnail class that would work in any project. So in these cases, and just to clarify, if I run it again, that took 379 milliseconds to run. If we were to change this to PHP unit framework test case, this is a better choice. Now we're just extending the base PHP unit framework test case. And if I run it again, even though it's a small difference, this would increment exponentially as you wrote more actual tests. But more importantly, even though you'll definitely save time, that's a good goal, we need to just be smart here. We don't need to extend a test case, execute all of this code, if we're only interested in working with the thumbnail class. So always remember, only extend test case if you need to make use of Laravel. Otherwise, just stick with PHP unit framework test case.